everyone, Inventor719 here, and what I have today is this used can of spray insulation foam. It's called Great Stuff. Basically, you just spray it in a crack. It expands like you would not believe, but the problem is, is once you use it once, it fills up the straw, I guess, and you can't use it again. It says right on the can, one time use only. Now, I hate throwing stuff out, so what I've decided to do today is grab my 22 and I've always wondered what would happen if I shot this can. I didn't use much of it at all. It's still probably three quarters or more full. Weighs almost as much as it did when I bought it. So what I'm gonna be doing today is I'm out here in this field. So it's a good opportunity to try this. I'm gonna be starting off with these Winchester Super X. These are basically just the fastest rounds I have. I think they're just your standard issue, full full grain. I'm no gun expert, but there you go. It weighs 40 grain bullet, and this is full gunpowder. I have some subsonics as well, but we want the best effect, so I'm going to go with these fast rounds. And then I also have the shot shell ammunition. These are basically 22 caliber bullets that are filled with little BBs, like a shotgun shell, that I'm going to load in afterwards just in case... There's a big pile of foam here, and we want to shoot some pellets at it. Sounds kind of fun to me. I don't know about you. And I'm going to be doing this very safe. I recommend you don't do this at home just because there's the chance of a bullet ricocheting off of this because it's metal. I'm going to be taking cover over there with full protection and possibly even behind a tree. And so if something goes wrong, I should be safe. And then I'm going to go ahead and set up my camera at a good distance so you guys can see what's going to happen. So anyway, let's set up my gun and get to the test. So here we have the gun for today's video. It's a Marlin XT-22, just a bolt action 22 long rifle. And then what we're going to go ahead and do is, like I said, I have these shot shells that we might use after. Not sure yet. I'm going to go ahead and load two of those in. Just like that. And then to puncture the can, we're going to use the Winchester Super X 40 grain 22 rounds here. And I'm going to load two of those in just in case I miss or doesn't completely puncture the can the first time around. Maybe in a third for bonus. And if I don't need it, I can just hit the box underneath probably. So there's our five rounds loaded in. The gun is in safety. Always be very careful when doing any shooting, of course. So let's go ahead and begin the test. All right, so there's the target right there. And I will be shooting from behind that tree over there. This ain't a marksmanship competition, so I'm not gonna be shooting from 100 yards away. But I'm still at a safe distance, and I'm gonna be behind a tree, just in case of ricochet. I'm gonna position the camera about here. I don't know how big the explosion or can rupture is gonna be but I think this should be okay right about there I wish I had two cameras maybe for Christmas I'll get another one better quality too for you guys so hopefully you can see that just fine I'm gonna go set up and I'll uh, let you know when I'm when I'm about to shoot here we go In three, two. All right, successful hit. There's the damage report. As you can see, it sprayed over this way quite a bit. Shot like a rocket. Huge thing of spray foam on my cardboard here. And then here's the can afterwards. A relatively small hole going in. Uh, here's the hole on the other side actually still a small hole but it doesn't have to be a very big hole to leak all that fluid there relatively impressive uh, I'm gonna go ahead and use the other two bullets but I think it's all out here goes the 22 shot so I'm gonna see how many little minuscule holes it can put in the can and then I'm just gonna hit the yellow bottom right there 
from about five yards away. These bullets don't go very far. All right, let's go check out the damage. So here we have the can knocked over for the second time with the shot shell. I missed with the other one. I was trying to hit the very top of it. But there's the shot shell rounds. If you can see, it's all the very minuscule little pieces. When I hit it the second time, there's a whole bunch that hit the cardboard, all those little things. And same with the base. This can really sucks to hold because it's so sticky. But you can see the little cheese pattern in there. And again, there's the main rupture from shooting the can first time round. So I hope you enjoyed the video, everyone. Hopefully it's worth my hour of cleanup once this all dries. But as always, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you want to see some more shooting stuff, let me know. Um, I'll, I'll do an invention video next time. But as always, please like, comment, and subscribe. Thanks for watching.